Okay, so we have our basic comics making tools, and we saw last time how we can take an 11 by 17 standard sheet of paper, fold it up, make a central cut, do the X fold, chicken beak, number the pages, and we've got an eight page book. So we're ready to pencil a story, but what to draw here? Well, if an eight-page book seems like a long book, let's just think of it this way. Sure, we have an outside front cover. That's our page one. We'll think about that later. Pages two to three are the beginning of the story. That'll set the scene. Then pages four to five are the middle of the story, and something will happen there. And then pages six to seven are the end of the story, and something will happen there in response to the middle of the story. Oh, and there's the outside back cover also. But really, it's just those three parts, beginning, then middle, then end. So now we're ready to draw. Now, as we know, the front cover will need a title, an author, and a picture, but I don't know what that is. We don't even know what the story is, so let's worry about that later, and we'll start right in on page page two and three. On page two, we'll just draw our character, whoever our character is, in a regular setting, something normal is happening, kind of an everyday setting. Maybe we'll put a little border around these pages to keep us away from the edges of the pages. And, you know, they, they're doing their thing. Uh, maybe we work some text in there, some voices. There's a couple characters here, actually, I guess. Now, page four and five, the middle, something's going to happen. So our character is out there doing their thing, and they see something maybe a little unusual, maybe a surprise. When we turn that page, that's going to surprise us. And because of that unusual thing, something really unusual happens. Hmm, yeah. And, you know, we can go back and try some changes. Maybe we want to get up closer to our character. Nah, that makes the flying saucer look really tiny. No, I guess we want our character to be fairly small. Maybe maybe their back is to us and they're looking at the approaching. Yeah, that works. Okay. Now, oh my gosh, we're already at the end. See how that works? Um, all right, so here's our character captured and the aliens are talking about him. Oh, I know the aliens are like mouse aliens and to them, this cat is, yeah. All right, a couple details from inside the ship so we know where we are, we know our setting. And now, oh, we're coming around to the end. We've got to get the details on that flying saucer just right. Oh, hey, I just got an idea. Flying saucers from Mouse Planet have little, yeah. You know, I think this is just the beginning of a much longer story. That happens an awful lot when you're drawing comics. That's okay. We're on page seven. We'll just put a to be continued at the end. Now, page eight, outside back cover. Maybe we go back in and show like a little bit of what's happening back on the home planet. A little mysterious ending. Okay, now we can do the front cover. I think we'll give ourselves a title, maybe a hint of what's going to come, but not really a clue. And then we'll read back over them, make some changes. Maybe our characters have some things to say in here. Make sure all the details are there. Oh, you know what? Let's put a website on it. Okay, once we're done penciling, we're going to test our comic out on a test reader, make sure it holds their attention, they understand all the important parts. Oh, never mind. All right, it's time to ink, folks. So we're going to get our inking tools. We're going to go over all our pencil lines, make sure you erase any res residual pencil lines here. You might make a few changes as you go. You might leave some things out, add some things in. We'll do the blacking with a marker, erase the pencil lines. There we go. Oh, we'll add some details into the setting, maybe a little more darkening with the ink. The ink basically makes it so it's really easy to read the pages. If we ink them well, it'll be really easy. It will also photocopy very nicely if we clean up the pencil lines and erase completely. So we can actually make lots of copies of this and give them to all our friends. All right, let's just add a couple more details here, make sure that website's there, and then we'll read it one more time through. We'll open it up and it's ready to make photocopies and give them out to the whole world. Mm -hmm.